ladies and gen- gentlemen, I'm here with the pastor. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Pastor Liz and uh, we're just coming up from a memorial of the late Ilagosa. A lot of ministers who, are, who have attended just to show support to the family. And I just want to find out uh, what Pastor Liz had, uh, the kind of relationship that you had with Ilagosa. Let's start there. Thank you so much, Tess. I appreciate you asking me to come over and say something. Yes. And very uh, salamu kwa. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. Um, we were acquaintances. I met him at the studio ya uh, Abed in Goso, in town. And I can say, Pastor, what you know, flare? You know, many people see us many places. So we we didn't get to talk much, but the little few minutes we talked, we, I really liked the, the 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 pastor. I could tell they are very good friends with the Abedi and and, and all, and the, all the ones who were in the studio. Kina Pastor Tumaini, Akil Mali were there that day, and we just appreciate having spent the few minutes I spent with him. Very very good-hearted, broad smile, happy, cheerful. Very very loving. Typical worship minister, typical msani, yani? A people's person, big heart, to a fura sana. Yes. Yes, with very solid songs, very, very good songs. Very important. Very, very good songs. songs. Yes. I think something else, Pastor Liz, is um, how did you get to hear about uh, his passing and how was it for you? I, I saw it on Facebook. You know, I was wondering why Pastor, Pastor Princess Harriet is my sibling. Yeah. I was wondering umbona anandika ako sad and kwa group ya family si muone akiandika hizo. So I began to you know Facebook we kangalia walls unaona ah there's a trend here then ndio nikaona picha yake hapo and I was so hurt I really cried. I really really cried because I really cried because what of what it takes what it takes for God to raise a musician. I, I'm, a, I'm a musician myself. It it takes long. It takes it's a process. Uh, the, the the pain most most musicians even who have gathered here I mean I sat back there and I was crying because I know most of their backgrounds and how how hard they work how hard they press how how hard many of them struggle through life especially the foundation or years are very very tough and how many of them I know that have really labored even to produce even a song and then sometimes they are they are ripped off and all I mean that's that has definitely happened to me and you know you can see someone who works we musicians work very hard in Kenya yeah. uh, and so it really broke my heart to see I felt like it was me. I felt like, oh God, oh God. After all that, you know, uh, it really broke. It in ili ni umasana mpaka nikayeka kwa wali yangu. Ili ni umasana. I didn't even say much. Ili ni umasana. Mm. What did you think about the memorial service today? The memorial service is good. Very well attended by uh, pastors, but particularly by fellow music ministers from different places. Uh, and and it, that, that's good. That your comradeship, your your um yeah that comradeship was very very important uh, for for especially for the musicians to come around and you can see you, we are struggling to hold ourselves together we're struggling not to cry even though we and you can tell we've cried quite some so it's 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 very very good you could see the release kuna hiyo praise song to limba moja hapo ya with the luya beat vile truly dance kabisa so yeah Mm. You've said something about the comrade, the unity, uh, just uh, being one, one part of this whole body of Christ. And we've, 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 we've seen a video trending. Don't want to get into the details of how you know the gospel uh, industry is messed up and how, what musicians and, are doing and everything. I don't know what is your take on that, uh, especially considering what you've seen here today. Um, as a musician, since in your ground, we know how how what it takes for God to raise just one just one and 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 um many people that there's there's a lot of people that are very ignorant when when covid happened many musicians because we couldn't perform many musicians went back to the local church of course there are some who stayed and backslid but there are some who stayed and actually are actively serving kina masi are actively serving in the local church kina kambu have been always serving in in a church a local church those are very very committed very serious people i mean and even the ones that we claim that are backslidden usually my challenge is have we followed them up have we checked on them uh, do we even care or oh, you know so so I, i'm speaking as someone on the ground i'm speaking as a pastor as a musician i'm also speaking as a mother somebody who who has served in the long has been born again for many years we like to throw words around i've been very careful not to even share anything because i i feel very very bad for for for, 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 for what generally in kenya musicians are not really regarded and and of course we have our issues yes but i i guess a family 
you can imagine if you, your family are never accepted and yet you are there morning glory lunch hour you are there almost every meeting every conference every what i think it's time for those of us in the pastoral because I, let me also now speak as a pastor to 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 know that the musicians and the band are also part of our congregation we need to pastor actually take time to pastor the musicians to pastor the worship ministers to pastor the band and not to wait for circumstances to happen and then we just blow up they are also part of our congregation it is it is actually ungodly it's error for me as a pastor to serve on the same pulpit with you you are a musician let's say for example and for 3 years i don't even know your name i don't even care i don't even know where you stay first we need to go back to because it is the pastor who is the shepherd or the uh, the, the parent to take care of the the musicians also and really listen to them and not to always conclude that musicians are immoral or we are wicked or we are materialistic money minded and all that have you thought of us first as a shepherd now i'm speaking to me as a shepherd as a pastor so i'm not i'm not attacking any pastor i'm a pastor myself a- and one of the greatest needs of musicians is that pastoral that just knowing somebody cares we are not even asking for i don't know uh, uh, the moon we are simply asking at least know my name at least ni sundi salimi yange on sunday you know come a bit closer let's bridge that gap we serve on the same altar we sh- at least you should know my name at least i should know your name at least i should know when you're not there I sh- at least i should find out who do job gani besides leading praise and worship nini ningi no do besides kucheza band before i jump on you and attack so that 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 is what i find very very big that is missing discipling one word i mean one sentence discipling of the music ministers the bands Uh, sound what to a crew that is one of the biggest things missing in the house of god what do you guys think pastor lisa is one of the important important things that we need to do as the body of christ especially in the art and creative department which is music is to have pastors discipling musicians what do you think about this put a comment up ochini this is beneath digital my name my name my name is tess walker god bless you god bless you